uh, Tweetsie Railroad has been here since 1957. It's one of the first theme parks in the nation, the first theme park in North Carolina. We've been doing this for a long time, entertaining families. Tweetsie's like a fun amusement park and you can like hang out with your friends and family and all that. If you're looking for a Wild West adventure that includes trains, animals, rides, food, and live entertainment, Tweetsie Railroad might just be the place you're looking for. I was saying that the trains are what makes Tweetsie Railroad special. That's what we're built around, the steam locomotives. All aboard! Casey Jones, let's ride. <laughs> Tweetsie was the nickname the railroad got when it was actually an operating railroad in this area. The train ran from Johnson City to Boone every day from 1919 to 1940, and local residents just nicknamed it the Tweetsie. Uh, and that's where the name came from. After East Tennessee and Western North Carolina railroads ceased all narrow gauge operations, the old number 12 was the only original steam engine that survived the scrap heap. Well, Grover Robbins started Tweetsie Railroad. He was a huge train enthusiast. And he found the train up in uh, Virginia and brought it back here to be in the mountains of North Carolina. In 1957, Tweetsie Railroad debuted with the number 12 as the main attraction. Over the next few years, it evolved into the Wild West theme park we know today. The train ride is, is like our main focal point of the park because we are called Tweetsie Railroad and it's a Wild West show. Fun, a little fast, and cool. You got action, adventure, some comedy. It's kind of a Wild West stunt show. Try to, to wow the kids and so they'll see all kinds of horses and interaction with the guests and the customer and, and just trying to entertain and make sure everyone has a good time on their, their day here at Tweetsie. There's things here that never go out of style. There's some new shows, there's some old shows. The rides have been here since 1960 and there's some brand new rides, but there's things here that are timeless, and that's what people seek out at Tweetsie Railroad. Once you've ridden the rides at the county fair, enjoy the panoramic views on the chairlift to Miner's Mountain. Here you can try your luck at panning for gold, ride more rides, and visit the famous Deer Park Zoo. It's fun, you can feed animals. I love goats. <laughs> Deer Park Zoo is one of the most popular attractions at Tweetsie. Every family loves going to the deer park. They go sometimes several times while they're here at Tweetsie Railroad. It's got deer, it's got goats, it's got llamas, it's got burros, it's got emus. There's a variety of animals up there. No need to pack a lunch because there's plenty of food options in the park. A visit to fudge work should be added to the to-do list. Watching them make the fudge is unbelievable. We, uh, we have traditional fudges just like everybody does, but we try to be creative and we try to offer things that uh, you just don't see any other fudge shop. Well, first of all, I want our guests to enjoy their day here with their families and, and take away the memories they've had with their families. That's, that's what we're about. Um, and having that time, because I think we're, we're rushing all the time, so they, they get to spend some quality time here at Tweetsie. Wild West family fun. That says it all. We're Wild West, we're all about families, we're all about fun. Just all great. Tweetsie Railroad is at 300 Tweetsie Railroad Lane in Blowing Rock, and they're open daily through August 25th, before shifting to a weekends-only schedule during the fall. The best thing to do is go to their website at tweetsie.com to plan your visit.